right in this video um sorry um we'll be talking about sections uh, 2.5 and 2.6 um, of chapter 2 so in the previous couple of videos i had um, covered sections 2.3 and 2.4 as well even though i just uh, mentioned it as 2.3 but section 2.4 was covered in those videos as well okay all right um, so in section 2.5 um, we are learning how to write conversion factors all right for these different unit equivalents all right so equalities are where you're connecting one unit with another now here it's between the metric and the American so you have one kilogram is 2.20 pounds okay now one kilogram when you see just the one that's exact but here because they are in different units this is in metric this is in American so 2.20 would be considered to be three sig figs okay and then every equality has two conversion factors or two fractions so it's 2.2 pounds over 1 kilogram and 1 kilogram over 2.2 pounds. This way, if you have, say, 5 kilograms, you will multiply it by this conversion factor in order to have the kilograms cancel and get your answer in pounds. If you have 5 pounds, on the other hand, to convert to kilograms, then you will use this conversion factor where you have kilograms up on the numerator. That way the pounds cancel. So your desired unit always has to be on the numerator of the conversion factor. That's how you will choose your conversion factor. Now, as I mentioned before, we have a dual system in the US. So in most packaged foods, etc., um, if you look at the label, they will mention um, both metric as well as the American. So this is five ounces, this can and the equivalent is 142 grams so just like um, we wrote conversion factors and equalities here for kilograms and pounds we can do the same thing here all right so five ounces is 142 grams so you can have a conversion factor five ounce over 142 grams um, or five ounces up on the numerator and 142 grams on the denominator all right same thing can be done here okay so um, you, the conversion factor um, is describing the exact same quantity, all right? The stuff, the mass in one kilogram is the same as the mass in 2.20 um, pounds, okay? So equalities are two different units, but they're describing the same measured amount, okay? Um, so one meter is a thousand millimeter or one pound is 16 ounces and so on okay. All right, so you have a fraction you have a numerator and you have a denominator. All right um, The key is to pick up the conversion factor where you have your desired unit on the numerator so that your final answer comes out in the um, desired unit. Um, so between the metric systems or between the US systems, all of the equalities are exact, all right? So you don't take significance with respect to conversion factors if they are within the same system. Um, by definition, they are exact okay however if you have an equality between metric and us then uh, you would consider um, it as a measurement and um, look at the number of sig figs but the one that is an exception is one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters so 2.54 centimeters is not recorded as three sig figs it is considered to be exact okay so here, as you can see, all of these equalities are exact, all right? So you never take significance with respect to them when you're doing conversions within the unit, all right? Um, or in the US, for example, uh, these are exact, okay? 
However, except for the 2.54 centimeters is one inch, um, these other equalities, they are considered to be measured, all right? So whenever you see a one, that's exact because one is one, it's exact. But here in 39.4, you have three sig figs or one kilometers to 0.621 miles. So then three sig figs for the 0.621 miles. And then 946 mils to a quart. Again, three sig figs here in the 946 mils and so on, okay? So we can write conversion factors, two conversion factors for any equality, all right, okay? Um, that way we can convert from one unit into the other. All right, so the study check is writing conversion between liters and milliliters. So one liter is um, a thousand milliliter, so thousand over one and one over thousand. Meters and inches, um, there are 39.4 inches to a meter, all right? So one over 39.4 and uh, 39.4 over one. Meters and kilometers, there's a thousand meters in a kilometer. So one over thousand and thousand over one. All right. So sometimes an equality may not be uh, stated, but it's within the problem. For example, um, if it says um, 85 kilometers an hour, that means that in one hour, the speed of travel of the car was 85 kilometers and vice versa, all right? So from the problem itself, you can draw a conversion factor. Or if the problem says there's a tablet that has 500 milligram of vitamin C, then you can write the conversion factors one tablet over 500 milligram vitamin C and um, again vice versa. Okay. So this comes uh, becomes useful for dosages. So you can see on this um, for this cephalexin capsules, you can see that each capsule has got 250 milligrams of the keflex. Um, and so you would write the conversion factors one capsule over 250 milligrams keflex and one capsule by 250 milligram caps uh, keflex if you have to convert milligrams to capsules or capsules to milligram um, then you would pick and choose which is the appropriate conversion factor and then one capsule is exact whereas the 250 milligrams is two sig figs all right, sometimes um, you're expressing conversion factor as a percentage, that means a part over a whole. Um, and so that would be, the whole would be considered as 100 parts, all right? Um, so um, for example, 18% body fat by mass would be 18, if you take 100 kilograms of body mass, then out of that 18 kilograms is fat, all right? So 18 kilogram body fat over 100 kilogram body mass and so on. Um, similarly for parts per million, parts per billion, okay? If something, there's um, 15 um, mcg of um, a certain um, substance in a tablet, for example, or um, in a sample, um, and it, it's given as 15 ppm. That means it's 15 milligrams over kilogram of the sample. Um, or if it's given as ppb, then it would be 15 microgram over kilogram of that sample. Okay, or 15 mcg over kilo, um, over one kilogram, and so on. Okay. All right, so write the equality and co corresponding conversion factors. Salmon contains 1.9% of omega-3 fatty acid. That means you have 100 grams of salmon and 1.9 grams of it is the omega-3 fatty acid. Okay. So 100 grams of salmon, 1.9 gram is the omega-3 fatty acid. All right. And so the 100 would be exact, and then the 1.9 will be considered to have two sig figs. 
So write equalities and conversion factors for each of the following meters and centimeters. All right, 100 centimeters to a meter. So 1 over 100 and 100 over 1. Jewelry that contains 18% gold. All right, so 18 grams gold per 100 grams jewelry and 100 grams jewelry over uh, um, divided by 18 grams of gold. Uh, one gallon of gas is dollar three point four zero. Um, so then one gallon, dollar uh, three point four zero by one gallon, and uh, vice versa. So this it'll look like this. All right, hundred over one and one over hundred. Hundred grams jewelry, eighteen grams gold, and then eighteen grams gold, hundred grams jewelry, dollar three point four zero one gal, and then one gal. Oh, $3.40. All right. Identify, write the equality and conversion factors and identify each number as exact or give the number of sig figs for each of the following. The medication that Greg takes for his high blood pressure contains um, 40 point, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. 40 um, point, which gives it two sig figs milligram of propanol, propanol in one tablet all right so um 40 milligrams over one tablet and one tablet over 40 um epa has set the maximum level for mercury in tuna at 0.5 ppm so it's going to be 0.5 um milligram over kilogram of tuna right uh, um as ppm yeah let's go back here so ppm was milligram per kilogram okay so therefore it would be so it would be 0 0.5 milligram mercury over one kilogram tuna um, and one kilogram tuna divided by 0 0.5 milligram of mercury all right problem solving using unit conversions all right um, so sometimes you can use multiple conversion factors all right so there might be a series of conversion factors to get to your desired results all right okay so the first things first is identify all the given quantities all right and then what is the unit needed you want to make sure that you place the conversion factor that gives you your desired unit as one of the last in the series of conversion factors all right so um, look at all what is given what's needed um, write down your game plan, your map to go from point A to point B. Um, again, write down all your equalities, conversion factors, and then set up the problem um, so that you get your desired unit. Your last conversion factor should have your desired unit in the numerator. Okay. All right, so you're se setting up the problem so that when you have your con conversion factors, you want to make sure that units are cancelling so as to end up with your desired unit okay so you can see here you're converting 164 pounds to kilograms all right so you will use the um, uh, conversion factor that has kilograms on the numerator that way the pounds will cancel and then you'll get your answer in kilograms all right um, this is exact three sig figs so your answer has three sig figs a rattlesnake is 2.44 meters long. How many centimeters long is it? Um, doctor's order prescribed a dosage of 0.15 milligram of Synthroid. If the tablet contains 75 mcg, how many, how many tablets are being provided? Okay. So 2.44 to centimeters. Um, so 244 centimeters. Okay three sig figs and you get three sig figs in your answer and then uh, 0 0.150 milligram you first converted into microgram mcg and then use the mcg to convert it into tablets and you get two tablets all right we'll stop here